Now this is something that's a bit different for the channel. Normally I tend to focus on movies and TV shows, but today we'll be jumping into a whole different medium, books. This is a book I've had nothing but love for because of its themes and the overall message. Not to mention, it was written by one of my favorite actresses working today, Lupita Nyong'o. Movies like 12 Years a Slave, Queen of Catway, Us, and Black Panther have made a Kenyan actress a household name. I've always been impressed by the Oscar winning actress and the sheer amount of talent she has displayed throughout her career. But this passion project of hers really is something that has only made my appreciation for her grow even more. So what is Solway about? Let's get into it. Solway is a story about a young Kenyan girl, bothered by her dark skin color, and wants nothing more than to be light skin, so people around her will accept her. Throughout the story, she goes on a journey that eventually teaches her to appreciate who she is and to love her skin. That's just my little summary of Lupita's book. She created a storybook that is based on the actress's own personal experience as a young girl whose skin color was always a cause of concern because of the way people treated and viewed her as a person. It's a powerful story that's complemented by beautiful illustrations done by Vashti Harrison. Vashti Harrison is an author and illustrator of Trinidadian heritage who created the best-selling book series Little Leaders, Bold Black Women in History. But she's perhaps best known for her work on Hear Love, another storybook made for black girls that embraces being black. She worked on both the book and the short film, which went on to win an Academy Award. Now, I absolutely adore the work she does with Lupita. Her art captures the brilliance of the story by heightening it with beautifully colored pages, brimming with unique artwork, and a style that sucks you into the story, taking you on a journey that's empowering. I love the way she gives prominence to darker colors like purple and blue, showing how they can be just as alluring as brighter colors that are the norm for children's storybooks. This color scheme is intentional, but with a deeper meaning with its inclusion in the story. There wasn't a single page that lacked the finesse you come to expect from her work. It really is telling of her talents when you read Lupita's words, and the visuals help not just to illustrate what's happening in the scene, but also play a part in affecting your emotions. There are a number of pages that I stopped for a moment, just to soak in the information, and because the feelings conveyed in the artwork really hit me. Just wait until you read the scene between Sulwe and her mother. It's a powerful moment, and just one of many that will surely be something that sticks with you long after you finish the book. This book smartly touches on colorism, which is something that has affected the black community throughout history, and even today. There are many black women, in particular, who are often made to feel insecure because of their dark skin tone, and that in turn leads a lot of women struggling with their appearance and trying their best to use products to lighten their skin pigment. It doesn't help that society as a whole seems to favor women who are light skin, and they are the ones praised and sought after the most. In fact, looking at Hollywood for the longest time, dark skinned women would often be sidelined or relegated to supporting roles because dark women didn't have the star quality they were looking for, and they weren't appealing enough to be front and center. So studios would cast women of color, but only those they deemed to have a softer and lighter complexion. For years this played out, until slowly we began to see some changes happening in the industry. Here and there, we saw more dark-skinned actresses emerging and making an impression by being leading women. It still is an issue that's around, even today, but now, more dark-skinned women than before are making a statement showing that despite their skin, it doesn't make them any less beautiful or talented. This is why I appreciate stars like Lupita Nyong'o, Viola Davis, Michaela Cole, Uzo Adumba, and many others who are representing not just women of color, but dark-skinned women in a positive way that I'm sure will impact the lives of many women, young and old. The representation that they bring is important and will play a part in shaping the industry but also the wider world, and its view on dark-skinned women. It's sad to think that many young girls across the globe are doubting themselves because of their appearance. They are failing to realize their worth, being in a mindset that you aren't pretty enough, and you will never be as beautiful as someone else you hold to being the definition of beauty. is something that will go a long way in shaping their lives and potentially being a factor that influences poor life choices.
Not all black women are able to embrace their natural skin color, and that's something that needs to stop. Regardless if you're dark skin, the darkest shade of black, you should appreciate your skin and embrace it. Changing your skin to fit in is really not the way forward. Acceptance and realizing that beauty doesn't just come from your appearance alone, but also from within you. This is just a wonderfully realized story that addresses a big issue in a way that will help inspire young girls who are dealing with the same internal struggle. I know I'm not the target audience for this book, but if it managed to resonate with me, just imagine what it will do for young girls picking up this book. Okay, something I'm absolutely ecstatic over is that this book is being adapted into an animated musical film. Lupita is teaming up with Netflix for this project, and I can't wait to see how this turns out. Now I can easily sit down for hours and talk about the brilliance of this story, but I want you to experience it for yourself and let it resonate with you the way it did for me. This is a book that every black girl needs to read and every parent or adult who has had a similar experience definitely needs to pick it up. If you're not a reader, don't worry, I got you covered. Look in the video description, there's a link to a video of Lupita reading a book. So like I mentioned at the start of the video, this is my first book review. If you enjoyed my review and this is something that people want more of, then I'll be happy to do other book reviews. So let me know in the comments below. Anyways folks, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy the show. Please feel free to subscribe, like and comment below. And hey, maybe this was in your cup of tea. And that's okay. Just remember to take care and stay safe.